He took my Winton. Took my Winton from me. He turned my son against me. He took my Winon. Took my Winon from me. He turned my child against me. Samuel Jackson has supposedly caused some serious problems, creating a stunning buzz on the web that could cause a fracture among him and the trouble television have Steve Harvey word on the road proposes that the famous entertainer has offered a few obnoxious remarks about Harvey's nurturing abilities and the fans are having a field day I wouldn't definitely dislike that yet I'd be devastated assuming that was my girl better believe it and they're spending time with Steve Harvey and her mother and all the other things appreciate that every his own Yet I would feel like I flopped as a dad. What did the raw fiction star say? And how can it influence Steve Harvey's family? Samuel L. Jackson is a worldwide symbol, a screen, jewel, and an activity figure whose star power is felt overall. He has featured in probably the best works from Hollywood and is one of the most bankable celebrities. His face on the banner of a film promotion is an assurance that the film will sell out yet, in spite of his prominence and overall recognition, fans have close to zero insight into his family. Many individuals don't actually realize that he's hitched with a girl named So Jackson, and it is purposeful. However, So experienced childhood in the public eye going with him on honorary pathway at a few occasions. For example, her dad's star on the Hollywood stroll of popularity Jackson has kept her grounded and away from the public eye. His preparation strategies have seen so grow up into a fine lady with an incredible profession behind the camera. So it wasn't was to be expected when the roads began meddling that Jackson had gaslighted nurturing abilities, particularly with Lori Harvey. An unknown source claimed that Sam Samuel L. Jackson sent short Harvey saying he had flopped as a dad to appropriately prepare his girl Lori, as per the source Jackson's supposed message came on the rear of Lori purportedly dating Diddy around 2019 at the time. Diddy was 49 years of age and Lori 22. The couple was first seen in Cabo San Lucas in Mexico holiday afterward in Italy where they ate with Steve and Marjorie Harvey. I believe it's really fascinating that Steve Harvey's there. Many fans believed that the 27-year hole between the rapper and the model was a lot for a typical relationship. Many reprimanded Diddy particularly for clearly exploiting his relationship with Lore's dad Steve to date his girl. Subsequently, Samuel L. Jackson supposedly felt that Steve Harvey didn't raise Lori well or probably she could never have dated a man who was mature enough to be her dad. Now, every one of these are hypotheses as the actual couple never formally affirm the dating reports with Diddy's child Justin Combs giving traces of a potential relationship. Anyway, fans imagine that Diddy has flopped as a dad, even regardless of whether Jackson say, the, I wouldn't disapprove of that, yet I'd be grief-stricken on the off chance that that was my little girl, no doubt, and they're spending time with Steve Harvey and her mother and all the other things appreciate that every his own, yet I would feel like I flopped as a dad. Samuel L. Jackson has consistently discussed how he feels about family and why couples ought to endeavor to remain together and resolve their disparities for their kids. He once said in a meeting that he was raised without a dad and realized how empty his life was so he didn't need something very similar for his girl, luckily Illy, for him. He wanted a lady who additionally had similar vision about family, and together they raised areas of strength for a person of color. In a new meeting with individuals, Lateta, the spouse of Samuel L. Jackson, discussed the quintessence of remaining together to bring their kids up in the first place. We generally said the most progressive thing that individuals of color could do was stay together, bring up their kids with the core of having a dad and a mother since everyone likes to imagine that that is not the dynamic of the African-American family, that it's only kids over here being raised by ladies, which we know is misleading, expresses Latata. To change that story, we pursued a choice to say we will remain together, regardless of what will sort it out their family-driven way. To deal with kid preparing appears to have paid, assuming that you consider the clean as a whistle picture their little girl so has cut for herself in Hollywood. During Zoe's 39th birthday celebration, 
Her dad, Samuel, waxed melodious about her featuring her neighborly nature, taking to his Instagram page the notable entertainer, composed your presence and tirelessness lemon bars, and streaming ideas were secured presents that made the year endurable. You generally made me realize things would have been okay. Fans were amped up for the message and hoped everything would work out for the young woman in the entirety of her undertakings. They commended Samuel L. Jackson for raising. A strong spirit woman, the fan opinions was Scratch Cannon, who dated Maria K. Lai, who was 14 years more seasoned than he was in a meeting with DJ Vlad Group, was gotten some information about Diddy dating Lori, and he said that he approved of that, yet immediately added that were Lori his girl, he would have felt disheartened as a father, yet I'd be crushed in the event that that was my little girl, definitely and they're spending time with Steve Harvey and her mother and all the other things appreciate that every his own, yet I would feel like I bombed as a dad some even figured Harvey didn't uphold the relationship, yet his hand was constrained given his relationship with the rapper Diddy and Harvey's fellowship traces all the way back to the 2000s when the rap tycoon was in his prime. At the time, the East Coast-West Coast competition was at its pinnacle, and Steve Harvey attempted to mediate to bring harmony between the two opponent record marks. He even made Diddy and Sneak Around K-9 show up on his show. The Steve Harvey show together to show fortitude between the two feuding hip jump monsters. Anyway, Sub Knight on his digital recording from jail as of late affirmed that Harvey was a tricky liar who claimed to need harmony yet subtly offended the West Coast rappers. The Death Row record chief affirmed that Harvey upheld Diddy and the East Coast rappers, driving fans to deduce that the moderator may be on Diddy's finance in the event that that hypothesis is anything to go by. It isn't unrealistic to expect that Harvey couldn't keep his little girl from seeing Diddy since he has profited from him. Some even accept that the anchor person is involving his girl as remuneration for such an extremely long time of being a recipient of Diddy's kindheartedness is seriously upsetting that fans Lori seems to have dated both dad and child Lori was once reputed to be involved with Justin. Cones, the primary child of Diddy, the two were envisioned hanging together at gatherings and supper dates, yet they never affirmed or denied the tales, making space for additional hypotheses. When the issue was as of late raised in the media circles, Lori denied dating the two men she made sense of that the tales were every one of the a misguided judgment of the relationship that exists between the Harveys and Brushes. She told Adrienne Ballon of E! News, I've heard I dated a dad and child before, by no means obvious, said Harvey, I've even heard that I'm a lesbian at one point, so you know there's been a variety of things, a ton stories, a ton of confusions. Prior in the meeting, she discussed the different reputed connections, and how she found them engaging, she made sense of she doesn't have the foggiest idea about a portion of the folks she's been supposed to have a hurl. With it so amusing 